Alex. I'm um, just going to sit here for a second before I do dinner and pick out some of the black bits, which I really don't think you're going to see on the camera. But I'll bring you around and have a look. Can you see? If you're going to focus on these little bits on the edges. Excuse my dodgy camera work. I've got to get the blade and sort of uh, scrape away the bits on the edge we don't want. If you can see me there, just to tidy up these bits. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm doing now before I put the red on. I didn't film it because what I was doing was such fine detail. Trying to get focus with this little camera would have been hard work. But this black now, in my eyes, is absolutely perfect. I've scraped any bits that I went over with a blade to get off. And then I've double checked it all around to check if there's any bits I've missed basically, any clear bits. So here it is now. Now the face of the badge is quite badly scratched but once it's all painted it's going to get a good polish and that should come up nice and clean. Um, but as far as I'm concerned now the black itself is perfect in my eyes. Doesn't matter what it looks like at the back. This is what matters. And once that's polished, that looks beautiful. And I'm here in my dungeon. I'm here in my dungeon. Um, no, I'm not really. <laughs> There's no chains or anything. Not in this room. Um, now the black is done. I've been over it. And as far as I'm concerned, the black is perfect. So the next stage is doing the red. So I'll put you back on the time lapse and we'll see if you can see what I'm up to. the first coat of red on hopefully it'll only need one more coat and then that's the red done and then we can just lather in the gold without a care in the world day four in the big brother house and it's time to put the second coat of red on the badge yeah i don't even know why i'm filming this is it is it good to watch i'm not sure but hey here comes the second coat that's two coats of the red now. Um, I'm debating whether to do a third coat. I think I will because it's still... The red is still slightly transparent in places. So I shall do a third coat. Maybe later on. You caught me. And my phone won't shut up. <laughs> i just done a sneaky third coat of red without you. But it looks absolutely amazing. Not blowing my own trumpet or anything. 
Yeah. I'm really, really happy with that. I can't wait to get the gold on it now. Although I think it looks fantastic clear. <laughs> you would have seen me do the black, the red, and now I'm on to doing the gold. Um, but also today, whilst I was on a work Zoom meeting, I secretly polished the front of the badge whilst I was on the call. I think the um, the one guy saw me because he went, oh, Rover badge. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'll just show you the badge now, up close, after I've polished it. Okay, this is the back side of the badge. So you can see brush marks, but it doesn't matter because you can't see the brush, you can't see the brush marks on the other side. So here we are. This is after I've polished it by hand with a microfiber cloth and some Alto sole. It's metal polish, but it'll polish anything. It's got abrasives in it. And I'm really happy with how that came out because that was really scratched. And obviously, I can polish it more. Uh, but I, I, I stopped because the call finished. And I say I got spotted. <laughs> Unfortunately, there is a couple of little scratches, you know, um, quite deep. So they're not going to polish out. But that is looking great. I think that is really looking great. So I'll try and put you on time lapse again so you can see the gold going on. So this is one coat of gold. So we've got one more coat to go. One more coat of gold and it's done. So you can be messy with the gold at the back. It doesn't matter because as long as the red and the black's done properly and is dry, you can just slap that gold on so it gets in the little bits between the sails. And in the Viking's face. And uh, yeah, here's the old one I've got. Oh, sorry, I'm clumsy. This is the old one that someone else had painted. And can you see, they've got gold down here and the gold sort of bleeding into the red. Well, I won't allow for that. <laughs> It's a lot nicer, isn't it? <clears throat> Whew, right then. Um, this Rover badge has had two coats of gold on it. And it, it's done. Basically. <laughs> I'm going to give it one more coat of gold just to cover the back um, fully. Just to make sure that it's got a good coverage. But yeah. It's it's done. <laughs> and finally, it didn't take me that long really. It just seemed like a long time. It's hard to see the reflection of this light, but it's absolutely lovely. I say it's got a couple of scuffs out of the plastic. Nothing I can do about that. I could get some sort of resin to fill in those bits, but I don't see any point in that. It's up to Jeff if he wants to do something along those lines, but paint-wise, spot on. You see that there? That's that's a little crack in the plastic. It's not it's not a bristle. <laughs> but that's um, ready to be stuck inside the chrome surround now. Thanks for watching. Bye!